So it's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 29 and verse 30. Just one scripture for today. And I want us to focus on certain words. Uh, everyone read. Is this? Okay. Two, three. Christ's body eats and drinks a sentence, a verdict of judgment upon himself. Yes. Verse 30. That careless and unworthy participation is the reason many of you are weak and sickly and of you have fallen into the sleep of death. Praise the Lord. Now go back in uh, verse 29. But if you go on the King James Version, it says discern. The word discern is, has, has five meanings to it in the Greek version. So from the Greek standpoint, the word discern or examine, it's actually examine, is anakrino, which means to separate out. And then there's diakrino, which means to learn by deciding. So you've got to understand that there are five reasons. I'm just sharing two already. The third one is dokimazo, which means to interpret. So whenever you see this word discern in the Bible, you have to see which of the five uh, categories it falls under. Otherwise, you will misin misinterpret what the word means. Praise the Lord. And then the next word is diacrisis, which actually means to decide between good and evil. See, it's one thing to decide between go, uh, right and wrong, but it's another to decide between good and evil. These two are two different things. And the last one is criticos, which is God judging or the expert in judging. Criticos, which actually come, which we uh, pull the word critique, to criticize on something constructively. It means to build, you know, like a like opinions, our opinions. So, but I want to work, uh, work on the word because the word in this verse, discern is diacrino, which means to learn by deciding. And the word that God gave me was this. Son, don't you believe that what I did on the cross uh, through my son, that by the stripes of Jesus you are healed? Don't you believe that all that he has done, you know, when, when uh, Auntie Sushila, sister, I mean, Sister Sushila, my apologies, when, when, when she was testifying, she said, I held the elements of the wine and the bread, and the men of God declared healing. You know what she did? That was a revelation. And the moment she took that revelation unto herself, you know what that is? That's discerning this side. You are learning to decide. You, you have learned to decide that it is God. God has provided. If you know how to discern the word, then you know that you are growing in the word. If you know how to, to take the word for what God says it, then your level of faith has actually powered up. Because the thing is this, there are three cycles that is mentioned in verse 30 that, that, that comes. And this is one way that you can actually see if you are discerning the word of God the, the right way. Number one is... Sickly. No. Number one is weakness. How do you fall back on weakness? Okay, go to verse 30. For this reason, many of you are what? Weak. Many are what? Sick. And many are what? Sleep. So there are three repetitive cycles that come around knocking on your door. One is being weak. One is being, uh, two is being sick. And the third one is being? Okay. Sleep is actually death. These cycles may be coming to your door if you are like being weak, like strength is being pulled out of you. See, with you and me, we need the Holy Spirit or God to enable us to stand, to be obedient to his plan for the day. Yes. Amen. That's why we are discerning the word. We are discerning the word the right way. We're taking the word of God and we say, Lord, it, it is not I who lives, but it is Christ who lives in me. So he, the energy comes within me, and I am not living in the weak cycle. 
If you're being weak, if there's a strength pulled out of you, understand this, that Jesus is here to tell you no more. If you take me at my word, I am the strength. I am breaking you out of that cycle. I want to encourage you. If there's something, if, if, the, if the cycle is coming, knocking on your door, and like something is pulled out of you, like you being asthmatic, or, or uh, that's on the physical side of it. But in the spiritual side, you've got to think of, of who you are. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to let you understand how to receive the word. Decide to receive. Because God says, not to doubt. Praise the Lord. Second step is, being sickly. So if there's a cycle of sickness going around in your life and you're falling back to sickness, relook at yourself. Am I discerning the word of truth when God said, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed? Oh, I mean. Come on. How many of you can stand and say, I am blessed because by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed? When you do that, you are literally discerning the, it the right way. You are discerning to learn it the right way. Because in, in this context, this word, discern, which is a diacrino, means for you to learn something out of what you have received. So when you take the Holy Communion, guess what you're just receiving unto yourself? Full health, yes. And full? These two things. Health and? Health and? Health and? It rhymes. Health and? Oh, man. Come on, say it out loud, little health and wealth. Full of health and wealth. And when you take the word literally, when you take the word and you say, yes, Lord, I am prosperous. Yes, Lord, your word says, a faithful man, blessings abound. Yeah. That's the book of Psalms. If you're not reading the Bible, it's there, right there. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And then the third one is premature death. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people. Number one is a, is, is a repetition. There's a lot of people dying at an early age. Death respects nobody, but I get to this. I will tell you this. Romans chapter 8 verse 2 says this thing. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. As long as I'm standing on this ground, my purpose is to, to fulfill the word of God, to declare God's goodness, death cannot come in. Come and disturb That life that God has given us. Romans 8 verse 2 says that. The law of the spirit of life. Come on. See it. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Take it to heart. Yes, Lord. You know what God was telling me? He said, many of you do not believe what I say. That's why people are falling back to sickness. That's why people are falling back to their weaknesses, which is their sins. If you are falling back to your weakness, it is actually sins. Weakness is sins. Sickly is health. And uh, sleep is premature death. Even some pastors are going out early. That's not God. He said, discern my word rightly and everything is going to work for you. I receive. I believe to receive. There's something God is, has in store for us today. See, I'm learning the basis of learning. You've got to learn how to receive. And when you learn how to receive, you'll know how to live the life that God wants to live you. A prosperous life. A life that is 120 years. And I say, Lord, I'm ready to come home. How many of you believe that? Can you stay 120 years? Or will you just go, oh Lord, I'm just going to go about uh, 60 and then you can take me home. No, 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 no. I'll hit my 70. I'll hit my 80. I'll come back here. I'll tell you, hey, I'm still here. Come on, man. God loves you. God loves all of us. But we've got to rightly discern what he's given us. Did God give me something good or did God give me something that does not work? I've got to re learn to receive it unto myself. That's my identity. I walk into it. I receive it by faith. In other words, when you've got sickness in your body, you speak to that sickness. You stand up and you start seeing something that God's already given you. He said, my word I give to them. He was speaking to the Father. He said, Lord, I have given them your word. I have given them your name. Keep them through thy word. John 17, 17 says, Sanctify them through thy word, for thy word is truth. You know how simple it is? Yet we get it wrong many times. So whenever you take Holy Communion, don't you ever come here and say, 
you know, like do the thing. Uh, everybody's doing it. I'm going to do it because everybody's doing it. Don't do that. Stand with honor. Stand with privilege. Stand with dignity. God gave you something that's worth receiving. I'll stand because I know God gave me something to stand for. And he's given it to me not for my bad, but for my good and for his goodness.